Good morning. I think it's still morning. Maybe. <laughs> we are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope that you'll return tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. Um, I just had to start with that clip of Jamesy playing, like the sunlight was hitting him so sweetly. I was emotional about it, so I just took out my camera phone and captured it. So even though I said we daily vlog, we didn't vlog yesterday. So we're gonna go live tonight. Um, and we are going to decorate our Christmas tree tonight. We planned on it yesterday, but we could not find our lights anywhere. I really don't think we would have gotten rid of them, but they're nowhere to be found. So we had to order new lights and they should be here any minute. <laughs> what? We just had lunch, that's why he doesn't have a shirt on. It got very messy. Do you think you're cute? Mm -hmm. Oh goodness. We're having a Toy Story marathon. And we're being aliens. Oh <laughs> Mm -hmm. Jamesy loves to read. He's getting really good at it. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, our lights have arrived. You've always gone with these like vintage colored bulbs. Hey! <laughs> Nose for rot. <laughs> So he's having an existential crisis today. I've been wearing these pajamas for 24 hours. But James is in a jacket. <gasps> Where are you going? He can't take his eyes off of Polar Express. Even though he does not want to stop watching Polar Express, I'm going to steal him away because we're going to go get Al's beef. Because it's 53 degrees in Chicago. Like, Let's get our ah. tanks and our shorts going. She's also got issues today. And then when we get back... Our lights came because somehow we got, we didn't, I realized we, we didn't vlog yesterday. We don't know what happened to our lights. I can't recall, I feel like this weirdness about like, maybe we got rid of them last year. We're like, we're gonna get fresh ones. I wonder if we put them in a bag and then like threw them away on accident, donated them on accident. Who are we, who would, how, like, I, the, the perplexing thing is like, I do not, I feel like that's such an important piece of our life yeah. that I would recall if we got rid of them or not. Like we said last year, we were gonna get new, um, like lights for these windows, like you know, like there's things that like we we had planned to get new of. I don't know, but we're gonna go walk in his car to Al's. Here we go. Here we are, Al's beef. Look at this joint. It's not the original, which I'm kind of it's kind of kind of upset we haven't been in the original since we moved back. I don't think. But right there, I want to walk past that bar on the way back because that looks like a fun holiday bar. Do you want your own beef? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Look at that. Ale's Founders. Nice. Uh, we got an obnoxious amount of food. Last minute, there's a cool advertisement here. Last minute, I got a tamale and a bun. Because why not? I cleaned up the play area so we'll have all the room to decorate. I think... We're gonna put the tree more, like it's pretty center right now, but it's still like off because the bench like takes up that space. I think we're gonna scooch it more so it's like really centered in front of this window and then it can be kind of on like a corner the way that we like display the presents and such. 
we have the most loyal dog who's <laughs> just waiting for the boys to get back. I really have no shame showing myself on the vlog like this or going live like this. Um, but I have an update on Evie's health. So if you weren't aware, we did some blood work prior to a teeth cleaning that she was, will be having next month. Um, they do that just because like she'll be going under anesthesia and they just wanna make sure everything is all good. So one of her kidney levels was elevated. So they did a urinalysis just to make sure that her kidneys were okay. And thankfully everything came back like top notch. So they think the blood might have just been a little bit elevated for a number of reasons. They'll probably test it again before the procedure just to make sure. Um, but we are clear on worrying about Evie's kidney health because that is important. Double CTA, woo! That's the Chicago equivalent to a double rainbow. Oh yeah, baby. Um, this is ridiculous even for Brookhart standards. This is like a 15 pound bag of Al's beef. But guess what, Al's beef is our jam. We don't always get it. We haven't gotten it in a while. So I had certain cravings. And last minute I had some certain cravings. So you know what, that's cool. You want some? He can, he can smell the Al's beef. It's in his blood, he knows how delicious it is. Oh, this, has got a, this bar's got a whole Christmas overlay. Check out this bar. So this is Houndstooth, the bar, but this is called Griswold's at Houndstooth, the overlay. And look, at this is not because of COVID. These are winter bar eateries, so you can eat outside still and stay warm. This all resulted from me wanting Portillo's, but Ale's being so much closer. And better. And better. Um, Peter got a big beef hot dipped. Remember, what does Phil say? You need a napkin before you even take a bite. Do. He also got plain french fries and loaded french fries. And, oh, Peter got a tamale on a bun. I got a hot dog with ketchup only because I'm a heathen of a Chicagoan. I was kind of a heathen. I got a tamale done plain. Usually you're supposed to get that with chili on top. And then here's my little beef. My little tiny beef. I didn't think, they, I didn't, like, think this was legal to make one this small. But also like the fact that like this is considered small, like compare it to a hot dog. Like it's really not that small. I've been laying on the couch. Our shoe's kind of got a funky shape on the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember there's like a big spot for a big... Yeah, but there's also a spot like a cinch in the middle. Let's twist it and see we'll what... We'll twist it, yeah. That's, we're looking at it kind of from the side. Are you going to help me hang the lights? He's been just dying to get into these ornaments today. Yes. There's our tree skirt. These are our lights. Soon. I have to go set that up now. I suffered from too much else beef. Did you did you say you went to Orange Theory today? No. You went to Orange Theory today. Open up our box of lights and <laughs> find this unfortunate site. We gotta put it on ourselves. I mean it's probably safer this stuff, but to Christmas pajama buddy-os. All right, I have to fix the star on top. But here's our tree. We didn't decorate it tonight because we want James to be with us and it was ready for him to go to bed after the live stream. Here's the tree skirt. We got this from Sarah's parents' house. Um, the very special tree sucked up a good amount of water today, which is always a good sign of a healthy, natural tree, but sucking up uh, a lot of water first day 
after being chopped down. So very happy with it. And it's on the uh, same hookup as all the other Christmas lights. So we can go Alexa, Christmas off. Alexa, Christmas on. Look at that. So all the all the lights plus the string behind the couch and the tree is all hooked up to the same function. It was a good live stream, simple vlog. I actually don't know how much of a vlog we have. Oh my gosh. I know because I thought we would have like decorating the tree and sharing like our ornaments and stuff, but it just ran out of time today. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. This is the hair of somebody who falls asleep on the couch recently too. <laughs> good afternoon. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day, especially because today we've been dating 13 years. <laughs> We are headed to the loop and a train is arriving right now. Okay, our very first PO Box package has been acquired and it is extra special because inside this box that I just picked up is two liters of cranberry serum mist. Thank you so much, Jessica for being on the lookout for it and sending it to us. She found it at a Walmart in like rural Minnesota. So I don't know why it was there and not anywhere else, but she truly created magic for us this holiday season. So I have that and I think I'm going to grab a quick lunch. My intention was to go into soup because Peter is not a soup person whatsoever. So I was like, I should get soup while I'm not with Peter. Um, but they're like, they're only the revol revolving door was working. The other door was locked, and I couldn't get in with the stroller. So right next door was Revival Food Hall, which I've never gone to. Peter has gone to with like as close to the hotel he used to work at. Um, and I have never been here before. Had only heard good things. So I found soup here. Um, and I'm really excited. It is from an Indonesian restaurant called Minahasa. And I've got soup, which is beef meatball soup with egg noodles, and then an egg roll. They gave me this little coffee candy too, but it all looks super good. Came with this little puff thing, rice puff thing. Jamesy is just taking his afternoon nap with me. And I am going to enjoy my little date with myself. So me and James stopped by Fannie Mae. And actually this was on our to-do list today anyways. But I didn't realize there was a location over here and we just stumbled upon it. The intention was to fill up our advent calendar that we got from Anthropology, which we have not shown you yet. So we're gonna fill that up with some different candies. That's the tradition in my house. My mom always had um, like the candy Santa Claus or the chocolate Santa Clauses and hers. Um, our little boxes and ours are smaller so I got present shaped candies and a couple of just like wrapped up ones and ones that look like ornaments. They're super nice and they gave us some leaves to take home um, and for James to have before before we even left. We are back by Marshall Fields. James, you loved the windows so much so I figured while we wait for Peter to be done with work, we'd go and see Tiptoe. <gasps> Do you see him? What? Mm hmm you, yeah, you love him? We're waiting for Peter to be done with work. James has been so good in the stroller, but I figured he needed some time out. So we're in the children's book section of Barnes and Noble, just exploring. Also, have we talked about how much hair this kid has? I am done working. Woohoo! We're going here this weekend. Woo! Yes. Leslie Odom Jr. Woohoo! Holiday concert. We need to like listen to his music more. Um, it's like a holiday comes to a lot of us and like his rendition. Yes. We're going to see if uh, we can go eat at the Italian Village. It is Chicago's oldest Italian restaurant. 
I've seen that. I like. I like looked into a couple of things today, just because it's our anniversary. I was like, where should we go to eat? And that's like its big advertisement. <laughs> We've know? been there once before. I know. I've been there twice. I've been there once. Yeah, we went together on your birthday one year, and then I went there the day I picked up my wedding dress. Yeah, I wasn't with you for that one. No. Um, so that's what it is. I don't have to talk to say about that. I had like a really hectic last like hour and a half of the work day. Um, because I, I had to help with like my old team's stuff for a hot summer. But yeah, and it's, it's over. And it's like high 40s today. It feels real nice. So it's like hot winter <laughs> Chicago day. Here it is. This is like Christmas time in the city. Alrighty, we're happy with olive oil and Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Here's my drink. It's called the Capone, and it's an Italian twist on an old fashioned. It is absolutely delicious. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Good. What are you going to get? I don't know. I'm going to get the risotto, I think. We ordered garlic bread and mozzarella. And mozzarella. You can only have the Deva risotto with chicken broth and mushroom. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to get that. Hey, going up a team. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> We got garlic bread. Peter, we always order too much food. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Peter looks at me and says, I'm already full. Because <laughs> we got two baskets of bread. How are you over there? So all of their entrees either come with soup or salad. And I got the minestrone soup. I got a balsamic salad and it's delicious. And he loves garlic bread. Here's my devo devoured risotto dish. And there's Sarah's fettuccine. And a very ecstatic Jamesy. He loves these walls. He does love the walls. He loves the risotto, which is why it's gone. Sarah has eaten salad. Alright, we got the baby strapped in. Um, we made it out of there. Sorry we didn't show you our entrees in the best way. James was kind of like, he was kind of going like, a little buck wild. He's like so happy, like oh, but like slap happy. Yeah. Like literally slapping the walls happy. <laughs> <laughs> and so I ended up just going down with him. Peter paid the check. And then I almost left my hat there. We're fine. We're, We're going to go get dessert at Chris Kendall Market, yes. Daily Plaza, after Sarah makes fun of me for pointing out my favorite building in Chicago. Yeah, this skateboard down Oh, I said that like 12 and a half years ago. I gotta bring it up. I'm 30 almost. I'm not going skateboarding down this building, but that would be a sick Tony Hawk Pro Skater video game episode. Level. See, that guy knows what's up. There's an electric scooter. Did you know I had a wooden scooter? What? Oh, I didn't. Grandpa Joe make it? No, Uncle Frank made it. Uncle Frank made it? Yeah, I wanted a scooter, but I don't know why. I didn't get one. My uncle built me a wooden scooter, but it couldn't like turn. You had to like go on this side. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Number five. Visit number five. Got dark chocolate covered raspberries and strawberries. I got a hot chocolate and a chocolate covered rice krispie. Did you get hot chocolate or coffee? I got coffee. <laughs> My mind is not here. <laughs> um, and we're gonna look at all the booths that we like we didn't give enough time to the other day. Yeah, it's not as busy on a weeknight for sure. And Peter got a hat. I just keep buying hats at this place. I was gonna say, did you? <laughs> is it a new tradition to buy a hat every time we come to the Chris Skinner Market? I didn't expect you to drop it. It's a little, a little tight. It's tight. <laughs> <laughs> we finally got to come into the candy store, and this is what we're getting. Didn't we buy Brooklyn Mix here once? We got that in the Germany Pavilion. I think the same brand. Oh, and then that just, too. But I think that's just the, the normal mustard. We would get the different mustard. Yeah. A little Chicago mix for ya. Look at all of this. This whole, this whole store. It's just to die for, and I'm just so happy that it's not super crowded tonight. What right, did so you get? You already saw these. The last minute I nervous purchased a single coffee and cream with coffee liqueur. Ooh. Truffle. Just one. Take a bite. Delicious. All right, since Sarah's in there, I came over here and I just couldn't resist buying one of those like Bavarian filled 
pastries. Also, there's like a Hanukkah party going on over there. I don't know if it's the fourth or fifth night of Hanukkah, but there's the menorah lit. And we're gonna stop by that little party going on over there once we're done, because I think we're almost done. Oh, and here's Sarah. How was it? Good, what's going on over here? I don't know, do you wanna go see it? It's like a Hanukkah party. I got a Bavarian filled donut because I have no self-control. Oh my God. I think we saved that one for a different day. Like you maybe want to go in there? no, I'm okay. Maybe we come back with him in a carrier, and then yeah. maybe they'll allow him in. Yeah. So because we had the stroller, I had to go in by myself. Yeah. There is a life-size nativity here, but the party tonight, the lighting of the menorah. Ew. We're gonna walk Michigan Avenue. This is what we used to do when we didn't have any money. We would just come down and we would just like walk and see stuff. I mean, I think it could be, I think it could, I was. I think rather than saying it was when we didn't have any money, it could be more like when we were children and we just enjoyed our company. <laughs> you don't enjoy my company now. <laughs> Let's count the trees we see on Michigan Avenue. This is two. Whoa. There's an archery class going on. Wow. We got a third tree. Remember we, remember we did that vlog where we counted all the trees and done And the poop. Out? Yeah, we did. We should do that again. I, now we're way cooler. <laughs> We're not doing that today because we're, we, what did we do that night? That is that the night that I walked forever to get your Doc Martens? Yeah, I wasn't even there. And I, I want to like, be a part. I love a scavenger hunt. I was so lonely and alone <laughs> that I was like, I'm gonna count every Christmas tree I find while I walk all over this city. Wrigley Building, beautiful tree, Tribune Tower, great tree. But Tribune this is Tower a nicer wins. tree. This is a nicer Tribune tree. Tribune Tower is better. No, look at this. Tribune look wins. at the bow. That's a big bow. Yeah. That's a nicer tree. Bogus. Everybody knows the Tribune building ones. No. Look at the water tower. We took a horse and carriage ride over there the night we got engaged. But anywho, this is one of the only things that survived the Chicago fire. Did you know? I did. Did, did you know there was an anthropology right there? Oh, Did you know there's a Sands Donuts right there? We moved away for four years. A lot changed in these downtown parts. I like that pub floor. That's sad. Aww. We never got to go to it. There's devil dogs. There's one by our apartment. We're home. We got some boxes to open. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, we opened up a box that I was, it was supposed to be a surprise for Sarah. But we share happy, an Amazon account. Happy 13 year anniversary. But we share an Amazon account. Got a case of Be Bad. Be Bad. Feels like we're at Disney Springs, right? Right. Um, we also got Jessica's box from our P.O. box. I showed it. I showed the box. Earlier. I showed me going to the P.O. box. I actually don't think I showed the box. Is this like a little dole whip for Eve? A little dole whip. I don't think it's for Eve, but no. like Eve could have it. Or James. Thank you so much. Two two liters of cranberry. Shaking around too much for me to open it right here. I don't know if it's cold enough. I don't want to do blasphemer. I just. You just want to kiss it. <laughs> so I had talked to Jesse on Instagram, um, but it was so sweet to get a little note from Aiden. Um, we got a little Edna Mode toy and this little tiki guy. Daisy is finally awake. It's 10 p.m. Um, but look at this curly cute head. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't have curls. I had curls. I had curls like this when I was Can we get him a little. Perm? Get him a perm. Yeah. Crystal, get a train and put the bottle cap on top like it's a spaceship. And then he's reading him a story. The queen of fancy drinks has now acquired cranberry syrup mist. I don't even know what to do. Drink it. Oh my gosh, I can just smell it. He's speaking to my mom. Thank you. It's so good. Thank you, I've, Jessica and family. Yes, and <laughs> I've heard like it popping up in random other places. Like, how do they choose? Who are the lucky ones? We should send a letter to PepsiCo. We hope you enjoyed this two-day vlog. We're going to bed. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. 
And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>